Yo, 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 yo. CPA strength back with another counting in five minutes. DC Adler, debit, credit, asset, draw, expense, liability, equity, revenue. You're gonna write that down like this, DC Adler, first thing on your paper, and what does it all mean? And then you're gonna take it from this, and then once you can once you can write it down, DC Adler, then you're gonna write up here, debit, debit, credit, DC aid, asset, I put with, because that's the draw, uh, asset, draw, expense, and then on the credit side, liability, equity, revenue. This is a double, this is a double entry accounting system as made by uh, Luca Paoli in, in like late, late 1400s. The double entry accounting system, which means there's two, and it's a balancing system. It balances, where the balance sheet's the very biggest thing in, in accounting. So for every transaction, it's either gonna be a debit or a credit, okay? And neither is good or bad. Debit is just left. Credit is just right. Neither good or bad. That's the first thing. Each, since we have balance sheets and everything balances around, the debits are always, always, always gonna keep equal the credits. Always, 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 always. So that's very important as well. Every transaction, there's a debit and a credit and they always equal. Every transaction is also going to be either an asset, it's going to be, or it's going to be a withdraw or a draw. It's either going to be an expense, it's going to be a liability, it's going to be an equity, it's going to be a revenue. So it's going to be one of these six, all right? It's going to be either an aid or a lure. Any transaction is going to be one of these six, and it's also going to be either a debit or a credit. So a, tr a certain transaction is gonna be an asset and a debit, but it could also be, an asset could also be a credit. So basically an asset's gonna be either a debit or a credit. A, draw, a withdrawal's gonna be debit or credit. Expense, debit or credit. If they're going up, if you have an asset like cash and it is going up or increasing, you would have it on, it would be a debit. If it was, decreasing you would have it on a credit so an asset all of these these are all in their positive forms asset and liabilities are all in their positive forms now a liability can be either a credit if the liability is going up it's going to be a credit same with equity and revenue if liability equity and revenue if these are going up in value you would credit them if either of these three are going down in value you would you would debit it. So this is the positive side for these three and the negative side for these three and vice versa. There's a thing called a balance sheet and that's the that's really the coup d'etat of all this stuff is the, the top top. A balance sheet is assets, C equals liability plus equity. So right here, right here, assets equal liability plus equity is the the balance sheet. It's also called the um, the accounting equation, I guess, the basic accounting equation. Also, and so that balances, see that's left and right side. Also, there is um, an income statement, which is very important. I would say the second most important uh, statement or sheet to the balance sheet. So that is uh, revenues minus expenses and right here and that's the income statement income statement so if you can just remember DC Adler and you know maybe watch this video a couple times this is this is how I've uh, thought of stuff now I made my accounting for beginners number one about two years ago so I do accounting every day I live and breathe accounting and it's my life I try to make it easier for people to understand I love teaching it so I've come back and this is me two years later trying to teach this again I believe I did a DC Adler at 50 uh, but I'm always trying to to take w w what your comments and then give something better back and I'm trying to be the best teacher I can possibly be so you can look at my my playlist of videos I have uh, I'm gonna run this up to 100. It's gonna be my classic series. So depending on when when you see this, I'm gonna have 100 videos of accounting for beginners. That if you watch the whole hundred, you're gonna really know a lot of stuff. You're gonna get it, I believe. 
It's helped thousands of people, and I'm hoping, to, you know, I've helped thousands. I'm hoping to reach ten thousands, a hundred thousand. So please share the video. I took my markers and everything on the road. I'm so happy. I love this, and I can't wait. To, I can't wait to make my video for tomorrow. All right, deuces.